Welcome back. This is a historic night for the Indianapolis Colts because 40 years ago, the team left Baltimore in the middle of the night and officially became the Circle City's NFL team. Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik takes us back all those years ago and shares how much of the impact the team had on Hoosier sports and still has. This time 40 years ago, before Lucas Oil Stadium was ever even a thought and before Peyton Manning won a Super Bowl with the Colts, a group of Mayflower trucks were getting ready to bring the team from Baltimore to the Circle City. Late in the day on March 28th, Jim Arce told me that we were moving to Indianapolis and uh, the rest is history. Pete Ward still remembers the exact moment four decades ago when these old yellow and green Mayflower trucks arrived in Baltimore for the long haul to Indy. Written on my brain, I can't, there, there's no way I'll ever forget that moment, right? I mean, it's, uh, it was um, so uh, unbelievable, you know, I couldn't believe we're actually leaving. Ward would eventually become the team's chief operating officer, but in that moment he was working as an assistant and was helping pack up any and everything belonging to the Colts as they made the trip to their new home, Indianapolis, Indiana. To relocate a sports franchise is not an easy task, uh, certainly not an easy task with, a, you know, three or four hours notice and, and, and then doing it in the middle of the night. Those freight trucks drove through a blizzard in the middle of the night and our Colts insider Mike Chappell remembers when they got to the Hoosier State, this time unloading the Circle City's future NFL team. I was there uh, when, when Bill Hudnett, the mayor, who should be given tons of credit for this, and Robert Ursay walked into the Hoosier Dome, arms raised, and there's thousands of people in the stands and then all of a sudden Indy is part of the NFL. Now 40 years later, Chapel says there's no question the Colts helped elevate the city of Indianapolis to a new level. A diehard fan base was born and a new element of entertainment and economic impact began. It was really kind of cool and again, the, the early years, the, the fan base just, just, they had something to do on Sunday. They were part of the bigger picture. And to be part of that, to be one of now 32 teams, it just lifts the city to another level. From hosting the Super Bowl to welcoming major events like the NFL Combine each year, Chapel says the future remains bright for Indianapolis, and a great deal of that is thanks to the Colts' relocation all those years earlier. The Colts just add that that you know booster to, to what the city is and, and what it can be. In downtown Indianapolis, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News. All right, Michael, thank you.